AM. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. So TGIF, folks, let's make it a great one. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery. And the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 156. NASDAQ's off 45. S&P's down 16. Gold. Gold contract trading flat. 2,336 an ounce. We have silver up 18 cents. $29.44 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Down 43 cents. $81.31 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down nine ticks, trading 109.30. The 30-year up full point at 118.09 and king dollar. King dollar right now trading. Whoa, don't do that. Yeah, when I do this. <laughs> Did I just do it? There we go. Excuse me. King dollar trading down 33 ticks at 105,874. Euro at 107, yen 160, British pound 126 to 1 US dollar. Let's get over to the NQs. My take, folks, NQ, all these markets are coming into the low. You're going to break the low. We're going to sell right into the close. I'm saying that quick just in case you want to be doing something with this market. Now let's bring it up. We're going to bring it up. It's going into them right now. So the spread so far on the Qs, well, on the uh, NQs, the high was 20,273. And right now, the, the low that's established, 19,985. That's a high volume low. We're coming into it. What do we got here? Okay, so, so we're going to start um, a new 10 minute bar as we're coming into the low. That, your probability gets pretty high that you're going to blow this thing away. Let's go look at the ES particularly when you get a failure like we had out here today. You had the, the market run, run right, at, right out of the gate, too. And then the market tested the high. The first bow, show you this first bow is pretty intense, man. ES. What I mean by that, the first bar on the 9.30 open, not, you know, when the future open, 9.30 open. Okay, so, oh, I see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we, the Nasdaq's going to blow this thing away, man. The E-mini the e already did. So the E-mini... The, that, that number there was 5535. Five. You're five points below it already. And look at this. Oh, look at this. Hold on one second. Is that 35,000? Okay. You know, we need 36,000 for confirmed ABC down. You're going to get it, though, man. This is going to be a trip coming into the close. Let's go back to the NQs for a second. NQ. NQ wants to hang tough, but you can see you get a little expansion. We haven't hit the lows yet. We're going to go after them. We're at uh, 1995. It's uh, 85. So it's 10 points lower inside the NQs. Gold. Let's go to the gold market. Take a look at gold. With gold out here now. Gold got to a price point. Yeah, this is, this is still telling me gold's going lower, okay? Because you went higher today, you had lighter volume, you failed the whole price, you got, yep. So you got to 23.50, it's 23.36. You got over the highs of yesterday, over the highs of the last couple of days, couldn't hold price. That's saying we're going to be right back downtown again. And then let's go to the note and bond market. We take a look at the TYA. Inside the note and bond market. We got to, on the 10 year, you, you got to 110.16. We're at 109.29. You had 2.2 million contracts. Now this gets interesting because that's good contract volume. The problem is, is that it couldn't hold price. Let me just pull this up again. Let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, you couldn't hold price. And then we get into the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. So dollar basically had a sideways move out here today. That's how the dollar's shaking out. Dollar, you know, 105, 867. Might take this dollar wants to go to 107, folks, okay? And it will, if this one breaks the 107, you can go a lot higher. Some of the higher volume equities out here today that we're looking at. You get NVIDIA's flat. You get, uh, oh, Nike. What a trip this is. Nike's down $19, man. I, that's, this is, Nike hasn't dropped that much in 21 years. 21 years. You talk about, uh, wow. It, it, that just shows that you can have an amazing brand. I mean, and if you don't stay on it, I guess you got to stay on it every day. I mean, when they were talking about, you know, these other sneaker companies that are at all these running shows, I never heard a couple of these other sneaker companies, but the bottom line is that they they are taking juice out of Nike. Was, that's how it's working. Advanced Micro is up 230. You got, uh, let's see what else is out here. And bottom line, what this market's going to do now, folks, this market's going to be... <laughs> This market is going to be looking at what? It's going to be looking at inflation. It's going to be looking at how much the debt is. That disaster last night of <laughs> the debate. I mean, you know, unless the Democrats get someone else in there, this, this election's over, man. <laughs> it's not even close. And the bottom line is, is that the market itself, is now we, we, this is what you, you gotta you gotta think this through. You gotta think about the bonds, think about the dollar, and think about inflation, because the bottom line is that things probably will loosen up. Um, that's where the, that's where this market's gonna go right now. Uh, about how much money we're gonna spend, what are the tariffs gonna be, what are all the above, and we'll see whether uh, you know Biden gives up the ghost and says, okay, I'm gonna retire right now. And someone else comes in because if they don't, that's going to be, forget it. <laughs> it's not even a contest. Dow. Dow's down 158. Nasdaq's up 54. S&P's down 17. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money